Hi and welcome to Sea Sparkles Corner. Today I'm going to be making a new recipe and I'm going to, it's a new way to use a pie crust. Now to make it easier I purchased a deep dish ready made pie crust. And we're going to make one. I'm going to take one out of it. Oh, oh that has two. Nice. Okay. And but you can make, I do make pie crust from scratch sometimes, but I just didn't feel like it at this point. All right, what we're going to need, you're going to need aluminum foil, you're going to need some vegetable oil, or all, well, pick your favorite oil. You're going to need cheese, potatoes, and apples. Ooh. Okay. Now you're going to say, how is this possible? Ah. Um, Chris guessed I was making apple pie, but I'm not. That's what I thought. Okay. <laughs> apple pie. Looks so I use humongous potatoes. The russet potatoes, and I don't have really. <laughs> there's no. Wow. Small potatoes in this bag. That's a giant. This potato would make bomb. a great potato bomb. A giant potato bomb. Yeah, yeah. but um. Potato why not? nuke. <laughs> okay, you can use a slicer for a potato slicer if you want our potatoes what? this is our lucky potato there you go potato you're gonna take the first row of your pie crust and line it with potatoes feel free to peel them if you want I think I'm just gonna slice them down what is this mysterious contraption you're gonna make we'll it's, be it's beyond my knowledge <laughs> You had me at the impression of making apple pie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I was okay, I have a potato slicer, but I just don't know where it is, so I just decided to, what the heck. I'll do it the old-fashioned way and exercise and go cut, 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 cut. It's actually good for I'm your trying to get them all kind of thin, so I'm being very careful. Now take your first layer of potatoes. <gasps> what is she making? And put them on in your in your pie. Oh no. Okay. Now take some of the vegetable oil um, and just lightly drizzle it over your potatoes. No more, just a little bit. Now take your cheese. <laughs> your queso. And sprinkle it on top of your potatoes. What is this? <laughs> hey. Now open a bag of apples, or you know, get an apple, and. This is a handy little gadget that you see me when I use potato bombs, but it's an apple core. Ooh, oh, look, first try. <laughs> nice. Okay. All right, now slice your apples. Wait, let us see through the apple. See how good it did. Hello, I can see you. Apple bomb. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, now we're gonna slice our apples. Now, as you can tell, I'm using one knife for the potatoes and one knife for the apples. Now, line your next layer with apples. <gasps> I've never heard of such a thing. I gotta get another apple. So when did this brainstorm happen? About two days ago I started thinking about it. <laughs> ah, one minute ago. <gasps> it's awesome. <clears throat> Make sure you get all the you don't want to leave bottom. any core. Is it? 
Oh, there we go. That looks better. Oh, all right. You want to use a deep dish pan for this. Yep. And try to cut them as thin as possible. All right, now. Mm. Get another one. Get some more cheese. Now you want to do another layer of cheese. This is going to be something I've never tried before. Cheese on an apple. It actually yeah. sounds like I'm not like this. Hey, look, I am. Now, take your last layer. <gasps> And potatoes. Put a layer of potatoes. <coughs> what is the name of this object? I don't know. I haven't named it. I just <laughs> invented it. Uh, okay. Um now same. take another layer of cheese. <gasps> Whoop. Oh. oh some more a little bit. Pour a little bit, just a tad bit. A vegetable oil over the top and then, yeah. finish it up with cheese. Mm. Okay, you want to cook it 450 degrees for 45 minutes, covered with an aluminum foil, loosely covered, and take it off for the last 10 minutes to brown in your oven. Preheat your oven while you're doing all this. Okay. Okay. It's like a cheese. Looks like a giant pizza. <laughs> looks like a pizza from, from the camera. Okay. Extra cheese. Yeah. Oh wait, there's still an apple. You can put that on the... <laughs> Alright, now take your aluminum foil. This is just going to help. And I'm not trying to press it down on it, but I'm just trying to loosely put the aluminum foil over it. There. Now I'm going to put that in the oven. I preheated the oven to 450 degrees. So be careful, your oven is hot. Bye. And I'm going to check it in about a half hour. Then in the half 30 minutes, I'm going to remove the aluminum foil and finish the baking for 10 to 15 minutes. So by the time you're done cooking it, it's going to be cooked about 45 minutes to an hour. And all those lovely flavors should meld in together and be tasty. So I'm going to see you in about a half hour when I remove the aluminum foil so you can take a peek. Stay tuned. Don't go away. Now, it's been cooking like 20 minutes, so now it's time to pull it out of the oven. Mmm, so good too. And take off the aluminum foil. <gasps> now we're going to put it back in the oven. Oh. <laughs> it's not done yet. <laughs> you can't have any, Christian. Oh. And now I'm going to turn it up to 475. Now, the potato's gonna cook the rest of the way, and all the cheeses and everything's gonna sauce, and the apple's gonna cook the rest of the way. So, see you in about, oh, 15, 20 minutes when it's done. Okay, now, it's uh, been 15 minutes, now it's out of the oven. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? Oh, the crust. Okay, now let's take it. <laughs> I know, I'm going to try some later. Oh. Unfortunately, I can't find my pie server, so we're going to just... Eat it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Left it out like this. Okay.
So you can cut it into wedges. Oh, and look at that, isn't that beautiful? Oh, the cheese is oozing. I'll get some later, so I'm gonna let my plate be empty for a bit. And I'm gonna put some on every plate. Yeah, I'm gonna get some a bit later on mine. I'm gonna eat what I got first and then I'll see if I have any room for it. Oh. Have you thought of a name yet? I haven't figured out a name for it yet. Man, finding a name for this thing is hard. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? See sparkle surprise? <laughs> yeah. All right, let me take a bite. That what it is? <laughs> Was that the final jurisdiction? A bite. You see how the apples just sink right in there? Look at that. With the cheese on top. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Mmm, mmm. Mmm, delicious. You see the cheese on top of the potato? Kind of see the cheese on top of the cheese? Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Eat the cheese. <laughs> definitely give this a try. I can't even tell you how good it is. I don't even want to stop eating it. It's so yummy. <laughs> Mm. Well, there you have it. You give it a try, and this is how it looks like. Oh, see, looks really enjoy. Good. Um, apple cheese <coughs> pie, <laughs> apple cheese, apple potato cheese pie. <laughs> um. You know, we'll, we'll I'll figure out a name for it later. Yeah, we'll take the ingredients and put it into one word. Mmm, <laughs> delicious. I can't name anything for it now. Give it a try. Feel free to share. <laughs> the pie. Just the pie. Feel free to subscribe. And as always, the fun never ends in the world of smart. Tell them to name it in the comments. Hugs and kisses <laughs> from my family to yours. <laughs> name it in the comments. <laughs> Thank you for watching. You know, we love you. Take care. Bye, everybody. Oh.